I'm here joined by the one and only legend made himself, aka Lamb, aka the reincarnation of Dapper Dan. Hey, you know that, you know, you know. <laughs> so, bro, I've seen this hat. This hat's incredible. Thank you, bro. Tell me the inspiration for this hat, because obviously it didn't just pop out of the woodwork. Yeah, you know I mean, I mean, you you can see that the hat is a Dapper Dan type of style, you know what I'm saying? Because Dapper Dan, that's, as you can see, that big picture up there is me and Dapper Dan. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he, he the one that created this type of vibe, you know what I'm saying? So I had the idea back at home, uh, my homegirl, uh, Gmo bought it. She was just like, yo, you don't, you don't got a Gucci Louis Vuitton, because if, if, if they look at the top of the hat, yeah. it's really Louis Vuitton. Oh, wow, crazy. See, a lot of people don't know that the top of my hat is really Louis Vuitton, you know what I'm saying? So I, was like, I had the idea, like, putting the Gucci and Louis Vuitton together, because most people don't mix the brand, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And as true creative, only those who risk going too far can figure out how far one can go. You feel me? Yeah. So what made you want to get into fashion? Man, I always been a trendsetter when it came to style and when it came to clothes, but I was kind of trendsetting for the wrong reason. Like I was, if I was sag this type of way and wear two different Jordans, like I wear the Jordan 3s and wear the Jordan 6s. Oh, you, you know what I'm saying? Demon. You feel me? I wear the Jordan 6s, I wear the Jordan 12s. You know what Ooh. I'm saying? Like I always mix it up crazy. Like. I wear the sevens, I wear the fourteens. You know what I'm saying? Nobody was doing it like me. But I, I always inspire all the youth and everybody else to do it. But I was sagging and doing it in the kind of a gangster way. So when I met one of my mentors, Jesse Webb, Mr. Giandre, he taught me on how to just put my clothes together as like a man, you know what I'm saying? Like wear suits and just become more dapper. Then I met Dapper Dan, I met more people along the way that kind of just enhanced my, my, my thinking on branding. That's why Dapper Dan book. Made in Harlem is very important to have, you know what I'm saying? Because it teaches you a lot about the game or Andre Leon Talley or anything that has fashion and style together. Like, you, you, I put that together, I make it go crazy. So what would you say, who has the best fashion, the UK or America? I, I, I think maybe the UK, bro. I think the UK got more, like, like the creativity behind it. Like, I don't know. I think, like, the UK got more, like, the creativity. But, like, America take it there all the way, you know what oh, yeah. I'm saying? Like... Cause I don't, I don't I'm I live in America and I ain't gonna lie like I came out here and I ain't seen nobody fly to me yet so I'll be represented for Americans you know what I'm saying but I'm not from America I'm from Belize so I got I gotta say Belize got the best fashion you know what I'm saying we bleed up back still take it so how did you find the event so far the event's amazing bro like look at this bro all these creative we got the digital creative music seminar we got fashion too like. Bro, like, I gotta give a huge shout out to Mel, bro. I gotta yeah. give a huge shout out to the Sound Bank for even bringing me here and letting me see this. Not many colored people can wear a mustache like that. Yeah. So, what was. What, <laughs> what made you wanna twist up? Well, you know, my, my last name is Sanchez, bro. My background is Spaniard, you know what I'm saying? Okay. My, my ancestor is African and Spaniard, you know what I'm saying? So, my Spaniard mustache comes from that. I like it, it's cool. Not many people can rock it, but it was nice meeting you, man. And we out!